Okay, so this is um, this is the Orno that I built, and uh, the purpose of it was to get some practice just working with Adobe and uh, building this oven. Uh, so there's a pedestal made out of Adobe's, and the interior up to a certain uh, height is just filled with more uh, mud and debris just to kind of fill in. And then there is a layer of of insulation using beer bottles and sawdust mixed with the, the adobe mud and uh, I just finished the last coat yesterday and so now this is the first time it's had a fire in it and you can see it's burning away in there quite nicely there's very little smoke and that's due to the design of the uh, oven and there's a particular ratio between the opening of the oven and the interior. And the interior is uh, uh, dome shaped and you'll see that from the photographs. So um, I'm just going to try to keep this stoked for a while. Okay so this is the uh, pedestal and I had some adobe brick available to me and it just kind of uh, chopped off the corners of them so I could form them into a circle and as I built it up I filled it with rubble and uh, built it up until I got the height that I wanted and then topped it off with an adobe um, slab <clears throat> uh, and so the height's about four feet high and after uh, that there's an insulative layer that goes on and that's a mixture of sawdust and adobe mud and uh, the insulation prevents the heat from going down out of the uh, oven so you mix the uh, adobe clay and the uh, and the sawdust and you mix it in and uh, place it around beer bottles and the, the uh, beer bottles help um, provide that insulation and then in the center um, there is a thermal pad on top of the beer bottles and then fill in around it and then on top of that um, there is a, a sand layer that the bricks are going to um, sit on and you want to make sure that those bricks get laid on there very level uh, flat and smooth and that's um, looking pretty good right there and then the interior of the oven uh, diameter is inscribed on the bricks and here's a diagram that's in the book uh, and what's critical is the opening size um, to the um, size of the interior of the oven and here the framework for the opening and uh, then um, a sand mold is built up um, uh, in front of the opening and this will eventually be removed um, paper is uh, wet paper is put over the sand mold and then uh, adobe layer is put on top of that um, the paper allows you to dig out the sand easier after this adobe first adobe layer has been um, dried uh, so there's the adobe layer and uh, after the first layer a second layer is put on with um, insulation a mixture of straw and adobe and this will help uh, retain the heat inside the oven itself uh, after this layer, a third layer is put on, and um, this is a finishing layer of just adobe, um, and uh, you smooth it out. You can hit it with a board or just use a trowel and smooth it out nice. Uh, some people make all kinds of designs um, at this point, uh, make it look attractive. <clears throat> Once the adobe has been, uh, had its first fire and kind of cured, then subsequent fires, you heat it up, burn a fire in there, and let it burn out, and then scoop out all the ash, and then put in whatever you're going to cook, whether it's a chicken or bread, pizza, what have you. Uh, it should maintain between four and 500 degrees in there for up to eight hours. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Here's a close-up of our merry little fire inside the oven. Okay, so I put a uh, four-pound chicken in here about two hours ago. And a half hour ago, I took off the aluminum foil cover. And so we'll just, I think it's ready. So, uh, yeah. So that looks pretty good, I think. Could be a little browner, but that's okay. Um, meat's falling off the bone, so it should be nice and tender. It's 
So I think it's still, uh, I'm not sure. It might be warm enough. I'm gonna try a little um, bread here. Maybe it's still warm enough. Slide that in there. And uh, just see if that's gonna cook up. All right, uh, we'll see how that does. Uh, I think I could have either uh, had a fire in there for longer. Um, this isn't quite as warm as when I did the first uh, kind of the curing fire, but um, the outside here is still pretty warm, which actually isn't good because it means the heat's coming out. Um, so maybe I should have used uh, heavier layers of insulation and building up the walls on this, but we'll we'll see how it goes. All right. All right. It's been uh, about a half hour or so since this bread's been in here, and we'll let's see what we got here. Well, it's not quite done, but it's not going to get any more done than that, I don't think. Uh, it's got a little bit of a crust, kind of rose. I should have let it, uh, I kind of rushed this. I didn't let this rise as long as I should have, but anyway, it's pretty close. I think this will be all right. Uh, so there you go, um, an Orno oven. Uh, that's how they did it before electricity. And uh, thanks for watching.